Pes anterine bursitis is an extremely common cause of knee pain and should always be assessed in patients presenting with knee discomfort. In patients with mild to moderate osteoarthritis and even severe osteoarthritis, I have often found that Pes anterine bursitis is the cause of their knee discomfort rather than the osteoarthritis itself. Corticosteroid injections usually provide good relief for about four to six months. However, it should be pointed out to patients that underlying causes such as obesity and tight hamstrings should be addressed to reduce the need for these injections. The pes anserinus refers to the conjoined tendons of the sartorius, gracilis, and semitendinosus muscles. These attach to the anteromedial aspect of the tibia inferior to the joint line. The anserine bursa is located anterior to these tendons at the level of the tibial tuberosity. Explaining the location to patients and pointing out that it is away from the joint line and the joint itself helps them to understand the diagnosis and the cause of their knee pain. Ask the patient for the point of maximal tenderness and then using a retractable pen mark the point for injection. Injections of the anserine bursa are done with the knee slightly flexed and the leg externally rotated a little. These injections should always be done using sterile technique. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Local anesthetic can be applied to the skin and subcutaneous tissue using a 25 gauge needle, but the experienced clinician may forego this. Here I have a mixture of 40 mg of Depometrol mixed with 2% xylocaine without epinephrine to a volume of 3 ml and I am using a 22 gauge 1.5 inch needle. Advance the needle perpendicular to the tibia, down to bone, and then withdraw about 2 to 3 mm. Always aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel and then inject the solution. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage.